Hey everybody, welcome to Black Lake episode 11. So, uh, just to recap, we still have some ongoing long-term goals of Bionics and Boomloat Farm. And you all voted just yesterday on some additional goals. So let me share those with you. For a short-term goal, uh, overwhelmingly, or not overwhelmingly, but um, with, a, with, with a clear winner, there was Blueprint the rest of the base. Um, and then the second most was the collect the legendary plasteel blade from the quest. Now, here's the funny thing is, uh, obviously, we just got back one plasteel blade, right? Um, where Wolf just landed and he has one on him. But alas, if you recall, there is yet another quest for another one. So we can go ahead and do that again. Um... And then for tie for third, uh, upgrade the barracks to very impressive. Now, I think that's already true. Uh, let me go check. Yep, it is already true. And burn the temporary base down. I'm obviously going to wait until I have a bit more of a permanent base. But yes, let's burn that thing down. For long-term goals, uh, let's see. Kill off the nearest hostile community has one. And that would be the pirates just north of us. They're pretty close. Screw those guys, right? Um, and then second place would be continue the Boomloat Ranch. Well, that works for me. And third place, repair Sergio with Bionics, which means still going to go with Bionics. And I'll even use a fourth, which is to build a, a tomb, a mausoleum, a crypt for each fallen colonist. Uh, so there are my new goals, and let's get started on them. So my short-term goal of blueprinting the rest of the base. All right, let's... I'm going to run this a little on slow. And we can go and blueprint that. So my thinking was something akin to this. We will have a workshop. Uh, roughly about this size. And then we will have a stockpile... Um, with the beacon... About this size. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's see orders. All the way up to the wall. Alright. And then we're going to want a kitchen. Kitchen will be... Um, probably... Let's see. I got to address some major brick risks too while I'm at it. Go eat that ambrosia. Uh, so ideally I'd let, want the kitchen here. And the reason being is um, it will be very easy to deliver meals to the prisoners. I don't know if this is a big enough prison. Uh, I guess we'll see. But uh, given that the amount of people I plan on adding to this community, I'm going to make it an unnecessarily large um, kitchen. Just because uh, it might be required. What kind of overhead mountains do we have? Clearly, we have some overhead bounds. Um, and that would mean that the dining room would be... Dining slash rec would be about here. So as you can see, we'll be backed into sort of this corner here. I don't know if this is going to be enough space, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Alright, so that is sort of the very rough, rough blueprint of the future base. Uh, not one that I am particularly proud of, but uh, it'll have to do. No, once we... Let's, let's fully, I would say, yes, technically I have upgraded the barracks to very impressive, but I think I'm going to keep going with that until... Um, until uh, we have it all floored off. So Wolf here has some important medicining to do. We need material. We have... Oh, uh, yes. There we go. I don't have meds? Yeah, I do. Don't kid yourself. What do you mean, need material? Ah, I keep changing that. Uh, hold on. Let me... What is going on here? Everyone gets several meds. There we go. Alright, let's go install that new leg. Uh, 
all of the dogs are now trained. I'm going to start training them in other things. But I'm going to let them haul. Uh, restricting. Wolf. Okay. Uh, one thing that was requested is to look at Velik's skills. Uh, so here we are. He's a shooter, farmer, crafter, fast learner, jogger, industrious. Doesn't do art or social. Um, yes. So that is Velik in a nutshell. Uh, he came with this clothing and some pemmican. I gave him a pump shoddy. He is hauling stuff, I guess. Light leather. The light leather that dropped... Endelos is getting a new temporary leg. We are working towards Bionix still. Um, so the Boomalope farm. Uh, I'm going to have to carve out some space for it. Ooh, Mega Sloth. That will be... Alright, Endelos now has his peg leg. So he's not hopping around. All sad-like. Uh, Velik will have... Let's give him this bed here. Okay, charge rifle would be awesome. Um, and more social fights. Wolf started it. Wolf seems... Yeah, there's, there's been a lot of biting. Uh, quite a lot of biting. A bite scar. I wonder how old that is. Alright, where is Vex? The wild man still doesn't have a shirt on. We'll aim to fix that. We got some patch leather. Uh, let's make a shirt at least. With Endelos who will be getting up soon. And I think what I'm going to do is just halt the patch layer for now. Um, we'll, we'll see what we get. Well, we give up on hunting. Man, the four founders are all hurt to some degree. A little disturbed sleep, but he won't mind. Now, I did have uh, one suggestion that I liked in uh, for Black Marsh, and let me reference it properly. Um, really mentioned that the filth rate of my dogs uh, should allow them to enter bedrooms again. Um, so let me first fix that and then explain what that means. Um, I'm keeping them out of the prison so they don't eat prisoner food, keeping them out of the kitchen uh, so they don't eat the kitchen food, but... Um, Sorry, foxes. Didn't want to have to hunt you, but we're going to. So, if we look at the animals here, um, well, not like that. If we look at the info tab, uh, you can see the animal filth rate. So, this is basically how much filth they're going to produce for a thousand tiles cells walked by this creature. They obviously have a filth rate of zero. The idea is that the more an animal is like a pet, the less filth they'll generate. So things like cats and dogs and huskies, Yorkies, that kind of thing, have very low filth rate. Um, humans, on the other hand, I don't think have a filth rate. Um, maybe they do. But obviously humans create filth. Um, and then the larger the animals, the more the filth rate. So if we look at uh, the Mega Sloth, its filth rate is five. Um, it will create animal filth out of nothing uh, when they're walking around. So that's the difference between animal filth and just like like sand and dirt that's brought in. 
uh, from the map. So uh, I'm sure as many of you probably have noticed if you um, go this way, if you have a giant farm, it's it gets pretty filthy pretty quick. It gets full of, you know, filth, basically. Doing some manual hunting. Get Wolf to shoot the warg. Nope. Warg revenge. It's gonna be tough, buddy. I don't think you can actually get vengeance on me, given that you're wounded. See, all Wolf has to do is walk away. You're gonna die. Alright, so we have the slate blocks to finish, but not the sandstone ones. Velik is, uh... Alright, Mr. Warg. Come manhunt me, I dare you. Hunt him with the Mega Sloth with a shotgun. Another thing I could probably do is expand the um, the deep water. Actually, let's remove all the roof that I can, just to see what we're working with. Uh, one thing I really ought to do is give Jirit the blade that he was due. Uh, I think Wolf is still holding it. And some cargo pods. Muffalo wool. Alright, that will help keep us warm. Uh, the war gave up on life. Okay, cool. Uh, Mr. Wolf, go stand over here and start to dump. I'm going to need to move the survival meals um, to, I'll put them in here. Every, everything in here is very temporary, so that's why I'm just not, I don't care about it at the moment. Alright, Jirit, you're getting your big sword. Don't cut limbs off with it, please. That would be unfortunate. Uh... And likely something that you're to do. Right, expand this as a home zone. Do some extra mining. Get this silver too. And the uranium for that matter. And finally, our farm is yielding rice, which is very cool. All the little animals are uh, doing a great job of hauling. Oh man, that was pretty lucky. Uh, sometimes dogs are not great because you don't need them, but when you need them and you get them, oh, uh, is it uh, ever awesome? All right, Endelos. He's asleep because it's daytime. Yeah, that makes sense. Danya Boar is just never going to join us. It's almost the end of the winter. Um, I'm definitely going to set it up so they don't need to keep using campfires. So it's just not a very efficient use of my um, resources. Like, at all or even a little bit. You must be hypothermic. Nope, you're just going slow because it's dark. Yes, that would be it. All right, so now we've got, uh, hmm, I do have some granite, correct? Yes, I do have a bunch of granite. Um, I'm trying to think of ways to lay out defenses that offer some security without costing me too much. Uh, so the trick is you want spots that they can't be shot at, right? You need spots that uh, that are like safer. 
Um, so in the interest of security, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to limit the amount of space we have here um, so that we can get a more secure area, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, one thing I need to do. Hey, Linka, you have a shotgun, right? Get rid of this slate here. That was also blocking our view. I'll just shoot it. <laughs> Why not, right? All right, so this will be a nice little area. Uh, I can also always put turrets in there too. Um, I'll probably put good turrets, not cheap turrets. I don't think I'll ever use the end of this just because it's kind of dangerous to stand down there. So maybe what I'll do is just kind of cap it off like that. Hauling done. Alright, Mr. Endelos, did you... Oh, you made your shirt. Uh, but you made... No, you did not. You can allow for heavy fur or patch leather. Make two of them. Now, are you still the best crafter? Yeah, I think you are. You're tied with the Eve. You're better than Velik and Vex. So you will be the one responsible. Hmm. I don't like the idea of putting um, turrets on a bridge because they're pretty easy to destroy. Uh... There we go. We'll do it like that for now. Power. I'll power them up uh, eventually. All this is temporary wiring. Um, this is somewhat permanent wiring, but I have no idea what I want to do with this wire. But all right, let's have it back a few spots so that the an explosion can't take the wiring out. That will do. This is still a mediocre uh, rec room. Definitely want it to be better at some point. Alright, the wild man is now clothed. Um, now the real question, let's first get rid of... Let's restrict Tattered. Oh, right, and Velix restrictions too. Um, Alright, so restrictions... For everyone, let's go and anything, anything but not tattered stuff. We'll we'll start off by 51 plus and then we'll change it over time. Uh alright. Can I make a toque? I can make synthread toque. Is that all the heavy fur I have? All right, what would be good out of that heavy fur? Probably a jacket. Just trying to think of how to clothe my people. Obviously, we are um, just kind of throwing crap together. 
there's not a lot of thought that I'm putting into uh, into uh, sort of an outfit. <laughs> Just, you know, throwing clothing on people when they're cold. Managing the chaos. <laughs> oh, Jirit, you're going to have a field day with that. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and clean up. He goes out of his way to doctor you with hand-fed meal, only to poison you. You can call him Wolf Kevorkian. I should probably not have my incendiary shells stored here, but hopefully I can sell them before it, you know, becomes a, a problem. Uh, Alright, so granite is going to be our workshop. Let's go ahead and lay that baby out. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to halt on that temporarily. I'd like to get auto doors. I, I guess I can use wooden doors for now. Um, so this will be a dining room that leads to a workshop, which is a little weird, but whatever. Yeah, I'll lay it out. Couldn't hurt. Alright, let's think about a little bit more hunting. As we have more mouths to feed than before. And we got airdrop jade. That's pretty cool. And close, too. Oh, some really old incendiary shells that I've long ignored. Here, 5 0, I need to train you. <laughs> yeah, I, I realize the inefficiency of trying to train. Um, I just don't care. It's fine. With all these extra hands, we're obviously getting a lot of work done, which is definitely a positive side effect. Uh, yes, I realize I run the risk of infestation. I'll do something about that uh, eventually here. But for now, I think I'm fine. I think the, the worst an infestation could be there is pretty tame. Here he was being a good hunter, but I told him to turn around. Oh, and Danyabor finally joins us. So Danyabor is in a relationship. Uh, with um, Vex. So he needs a double bed. Or they need a double bed. Um, so this is an excellent bed. Um, that's fine. Lenka. Lenka, you get this one. This goes into the prison. And then this one becomes Vex. And Daniel Boar. All right, White Daniel Boar. I'm just gonna call you WD40. Very neurotic. Uh, okay, so work priorities. What is he? Let's see. Um, mining. He's a miner shooter. Okay. Um, Daniel Boar. Or WD-40. We're going to have you hunt and mine. That seems to be a lot of them. Uh, we are definitely going to need some gear on him. He is legit naked. Uh, I guess fox fur pants? Endelos is currently asleep. Um, hmm. He's going to want to run around naked for a bit. 
like it soothes. Well, that's friendly. Now, nah, maybe I don't like the name WD-40. I'll just call him Dano. He's going to get pretty hypothermic pretty quickly. But that's his problem, not mine. Alright, Endelos, you're making those pants. And then make a shirt out of anything. I don't really care. Where'd you go? Oh, you're cooking? CC's been a pretty good cook. We might be able to just rely on her to do a lot of the cooking. Alright, I'm gonna lift the restrictions. Uh, where is that sign? Alright, so Dano's no longer naked. He is, however, without a weapon. Uh, at the moment, he's gonna get a stupid little bow, but eventually he'll get something better. Alright, so we are allowing for slag. This barracks is getting pretty close to being done. Jirid is still vomiting from the bad food that he got. Um, checking the dogs to see if I need to make some NPM. We've been training them so much that in the process of training them, they've been getting fed. As, you know, that is how it works. I'll just hunt everything at this point. Um, obviously, I need to think about uh, hydroponics and getting uh, more food source. So that is something I am thinking about. Alright, so you're fully healed. Everyone's fully healed. A lot of the mood problems have gone away, given that we have rice and fine meals and... I don't know, things are just... Ooh, Velik is a work frenzy. Things are looking up. Alright, so let's crank out some NPM for these doggies. We need uh, about 150 uh, sandstone blocks. All right, Danyabor, you have the lovely, or Dano, task of getting some NPM. Uh, really? You give up on food? Okay, well, whatever. Okay, yeah, he really does give up on food. Whatever. Anything but lavish. Using the lavish for mood offsets. Butchering. It's also like all these ship parts. Then I'm really curious, did I break them all down? Uh, who is coming down here? Man, this psychic suit is doing really wonderful. Uh, Endelos. I'm gonna have you haul the leathers. The, the wools, rather. Whatever needs butchering out there, it's pretty cold, so my guess is... Uh, they won't decay very quickly. Uh, maybe it was this muffalo. Alright, come on, microelectronics. You're taking so long. Look at these dogs doing so much work. Muffalo's... Oh, Dano is hypothermic. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Muffalo's running to our base, which is pretty funny. Oh, you want revenge, do you? 
Uh, my money's on Velik. Oh, and I put my money exactly where it needed to be. Alright, let's get these babies off. I've reached the end of the silver vein. CC, major break risk. Probably due to the dead blood ones, if I was to guess. Oh, uh, being ravenously hungry will do it too. How many more days do we have here? One hour? Oh, that's pretty cool. That'll be helpful to get that off. I was thinking we were like, uh, it's about time, you know? Had that thought. So, the amount of overhead mountain. We have, obviously, clusters of overhead mountain here. I don't think it's large. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15. Literally, just large enough to cause problems. I can fill, fill some of it up, and then it won't cause problems. But actually, this whole area here, it doesn't need... I, uh, I don't need to actually fill it up. Sorry, wolf carried all that stuff over and then told you not to do oop, not to do anything about it because that is an overhead mountain now look at the work the dogs have been putting in what I need is to get people crafting a little bit higher because I need to get through all this slag that is just about polluting my uh, my base here. I think we're good on meat for the moment. So if we check their uh, very impressive barrack has um... The Disturbed Sleep hasn't, but the Very Impressive Barrack has made it so that just because it's a barracks, um, it's not pissing them off, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we have some blue fur here. Uh, we could make another jacket out of it, or two. And... I might try to make CC, let's see, Endelos, let's let CC do as much cooking as she'll, as she will, take you off of it. And then CC, your cooking is still the highest, oh, your wardening is even higher. Eventually we're going to need a full time warden. Well, maybe. It depends on the prisoners we get. Oh, hello. Hello, lots of meat. Ooh. We got a little marriage going on. Uh, it might be a little too late to drop a marriage spot, but we can try. Bow hunting is a kind of a weird way to celebrate your marriage. But alas, uh, the ending of this marriage is going to really have to be for next episode. I am well up over my time just because I'm enjoying myself. So if you have any uh, tips for me... Uh, drop me a line, and uh, I hope you tune in next time. Uh, so, a reminder before I literally call this to close. Let's go over the goals once again. So, the short-term goal of Blueprint the rest of the base, I kind of did that. I would say, like, I'm mostly doing that. Uh, upgrade the barracks to very impressive. I've done that. Collect the legendary Plasteel Blade. Well, I've done one of two, but Jirit has one of them. 
and burn the temporary base down. Well, I'm not done moving out of it yet, but that will come. And then for long-term goals, I still have the Boomlope farm, which I have not really made any progress about, but I can start looking to buy up those animals and then kill the nearest hostile community. I'm not ready to do that yet. Repair Sergio with Bionics, don't even have Bionics yet, and a Tome for uh, a tomb, sorry, for, for for each fallen colonist. I haven't even started that, but that's number four of my long-term goals. So not going to worry about that just yet. All right. Well, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Adios.